Yo, I want to salute the uh, Carolyn Mass One listen to this, listen One to this Gagne, mm-hmm. Caroline Mass One Gagne uh, from NASA. Mm-hmm. She sent she sent sent me a little note. Said, "Dear Charlotte, man, I hope you and your family get an opportunity to experience the eclipse, enjoy the glasses, and I look forward to connecting with you soon." And she now, sent me some glasses from NASA. Now, remember, he made fun of the glasses we put right, on. Remember, right, said he was never going to wear them because they clowned out. Ask him what what these glasses look like. Oh, I got to plug it up. And charge it up. No, you don't. You have a liar. I do. I got a plug it up. Oh, she got a pluggable glasses. This is from NASA. No damn plug in glasses. This came from NASA. This, came in, this is from NASA. Okay, all right, flex. Okay, okay baby. You want to see the camera? This is from no, NASA. No, 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 look, look, NASA. look at the glasses. 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 Look <laughs> go ahead. And you're gonna disappear on air. Like just see? Oof, you know see? <laughs> Let's go. Worldwide Jess, worldwide mess. On the Breakfast Club. She's a coach and shit. It's time to set it off. Nobody could get nobody to see this, Monique. Angela Jolie alleges that Brad Pitt's abuse started well before 2016. So we know that she filed for divorce from Brad Pitt in uh, 2016 um, after ver- after his verbal and physical abuse assault to her and the children on a private plane. But Jolie said that the uh, altercation, I mean, that his abuse started well before the plane altercation. Her lawyer says that while Brad Pitt's history of physical abuse toward Angelina started, well before the plane altercation this was the first time that he actually like has spanked the kids or whatever and mm. then she immediately left him after that these allegations are coming back up after ongoing legal troubles of Pitt suing her so they just suing each other it's like real life Mr. and Mrs. Smith right now he's claiming that she sold half of their vineyard they had a vineyard together um, when they were married please come on y'all get off your phones like for real pay attention because this is more news <laughs> that I paid for okay, 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 so okay. look now they had a vineyard together. It's mm-hmm. called Chateau Merival, mm-hmm. right? And in um, in the divorce, they planned to split it like down the middle mm-hmm. because they both owned it. Now Jolie sold her half. He sold her because he did, he had no knowledge that she sold her half. Mm-hmm. She sold it to the Stoli Group in 2021. Mm-hmm. But I felt like if it's my half, then I can it, sell it, it was mine. It's like whatever you mm-hmm. know. But he said that that was in violation of his contractual rights. Yeah, whatever. first try to refuse it. Then. Yeah, obviously. Now, the other day, April 4th, uh, 2024, Angela Jolie's lawyers requested to release the proof that Pitt would not allow her to sell it to him. So she tried to sell it to him, but she was like, no, I didn't sell it to him because he had um, he wanted me to sign an expansive NDA. So apparently it was a bunch of stipulations and stuff like like it was a bunch of loopholes and she didn't feel comfortable signing it. Mm-hmm. So she did try to sell it to him okay. so she could be done with it. But mm-mm, he was trying to do it his little way, you know, mm-hmm, but that's a Brad mm-hmm. Pitt. You know, so so what they saying about this on white rich Twitter? Do they have a white rich Twitter? Like, there's a black Twitter. Is white rich Twitter in in, in an uproar? You have to pay for it. So (laughs) no, white rich Twitter is not outraged about this alleged abuse from Brad Pitt. Crazy the way black Twitter would be if it was an alleged abuse. Exactly, a black celebrity of that stature. If I feel like it would be more. you know, attainable if mm-hmm. you didn't have to pay for it because people don't like. What to are you pay. talking about? Paying come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Keep saying for real because it's a subscription. That's right. For all the news that these white people was trying to cover up about themselves. <laughs> all right, so look. <laughs> Now in, in black free news, <laughs> Nene Leak said she's okay with cheating if it's done respectfully. So she was on IG Live with Carlos King mm-hmm. and she said she can get down with respectful cheating, right? She essentially said what you don't know won't hurt you. But then she went down, the, the, she gave us the breakdown on cheating etiquette. Now respectful cheating, I could deal with that. What you don't know won't hurt you. It won't hurt you. However, if you're going to cheat, you need to do it with respect. Number one, you can never approach. Your side piece doesn't call my phone saying, put my man on the phone, B. And it's like, well, dang girl. Or say, posting say, on say. your social media. Yeah, or or when the yeah. side piece posts the arm of the man with his yeah. tattoos so you could see the year he was born and the year of his, do- of his daughter. So that you can identify that, yeah, girl, this is my man too. That's disrespectful cheating. Keep your side pieces in check. I don't even understand that language. No hable ingle. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what the hell they're talking about. Mm-hmm. Somebody translate for me. Matter of fact, I don't even care. Nope. You know yeah. what I mean? I gotta get a Rosetta Stone. I don't even know. I don't know what type of. I don't even know. I don't. I don't you know what? I don't even know. I couldn't even hear. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, good. Well, since awesome. we're gonna move on. My ears um, broke. Mine too. To uh, a divorce. 
Chance the Rapper and wife Kirsten Corley announced that they divorced. They uh, shared the same post in their Instagram stories, basically um, saying that they asked for privacy after it was publicly announced that they um, were divorced. They've been married since 2019. And just last month, they celebrated their fifth wedding anniversary on March 9th. So, Sad. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he was getting his little life. Shortly after, he was... Um, yeah, somebody giving him a lap dance. I, it looked like he was at Carnival. It was at Carnival. Carnival's not going on right now, is it? That was a while that ago. Was years ago. That was Yeah, that was a couple months ago when he did the Carnival. No, that right? was a couple years ago. You sure? What? Yeah. That video was from there? Yeah. Oh, okay. At now, least a year. Because it, it just circulated again. Okay, because mm-hmm. i never seen it from the jump. Mm-hmm. So, so if that was years ago, that was why they was married. That was when they was married. Oh, okay, yeah, so yes, don't offer was. up anything. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just saying, I don't know. All right, I'm just saying, because that means that was a part of what he was doing when they were married. But, yeah, so I just send both of them, you know, healing energy for you each know, other. Yeah, and it's interesting, Absolutely. too. You know, I, I'm sure that they gave Chance a lot of flack for this because, you know, he put out the whole album, and the whole album was... Dedicated to his wife. Yeah, I love my wife. I love my wife. Absolutely. Like, literally. Yeah. So I'm sure he, they, they was on him about that. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. things change. They do. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't mean that they'll stay divorced, hopefully, because they got children together. Yeah. Hopefully they work it out if it's meant to be. Hopefully right? they do. I mean, I mean they you both don't want shared... them to get divorced, is what you're saying. Correct. Okay. Well, they both shared the same post. So apparently they're on some type of accord, like with each other. You right. know what I'm saying? Because they, same exact post. And then it said at the end of it, it said, thank you, Chance and Kirsten. So they might just be, you know, they might need a little break, whatever. Little like break, you said, yeah. hopefully, because they file for divorce. They're not, they're not divorced yet. And mm-hmm. maybe they won't. So best hopes and wishes to that. But I feel it, like they look alike. Is marriage a thing of chance? Huh? Like, is it a thing of chance? Like, is it like you know? It's like a. Is it a gamble? I'm, I'm not sure. Y'all can talk to each other because until I get married, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. Mm. I don't look at it like that. But is it? Because it may work. It may not. You hope it's forever, mm. right? But you know what just made me think when when you when you just spoke about it, I was wondering if they were going through problems and he did that album as a dedication to mm. to say I love my wife. I don't. I don't. I want to fix this. And what if she thought the album was whack? And that's Jesus what caused it all. Christ. That's what was like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> like, you gonna come on with this trash? <laughs> like, oh my I'm God. I'm just saying. You always gotta remember that whenever you dedicate an album yeah. to somebody, make mm-hmm. sure it's hot. Okay? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, that is just with the mess. Absolutely, y'all. Right, I well. did good at it. Like, first of all, drop a please bone for me in this news. Cause I've been delivering some stuff that people were trying to act like they that's did. Right. But they didn't even know. That's right. Mm. All right. Mm-mm-mm. Mix is up next. Let's go. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.